What's going on? Welcome back to Real World Tool Reviews. I'm sitting in my shop and uh, I was putting together some stuff for my uh, at home in the house tool pouch that I've been putting together. And I was thinking about what tools I needed and uh, kind of how it was going to fit together. And I started to get a different idea completely than what I'm doing right now. I started thinking, what would be a cool idea for a video? I think I will do a, what tools do you need to start out as an apartment maintenance tech? Um, I don't know how many of you guys in my audience are apartment maintenance guys or maintenance guys of a similar type of thing, maybe industrial maintenance or something. Uh, but as some of you know, if you've been watching the videos, you know that that's what I do. I'm an apartment maintenance guy. Uh, you know, I do a, a bunch of different rental property work, but my main thing is I'm an apartment maintenance guy. And if there's one thing I know, it's apartment maintenance. I've got a lot of years of experience doing it. So I figured I would do just a, a basic tool set that's going to cover all your bases, like say your first year when you're just learning how to do everything. Um, this kit's going to give you everything you need like to learn just to learn, you know, you're, you, you're always going to be buying tools, but this is enough to learn how to do all your basic tasks. So I'm going to start with basic hand tools. You need your pliers. I'm going to go into some uh, brand specific stuff and also just like regular, like, like for instance, these, I would suggest getting a set of uh, 12 inch, 10 inch and smaller baby channel locks i would get channel lock brand because they're pretty cheap already they're super high quality they will last you literally forever you'll never have to buy another set you know so get your get your your set of those and then the next thing that's super important doing apartment ma apartment maintenance is your multi-screwdriver um this was the one i got when i started and these ones are good because they have the square tips for doing like electrical work, for doing outlets and switches and stuff, which you know, you'll be doing. And it's got all the regular stuff that multi-screwdrivers have. It has the 3 8 nut driver, which like a regular six in one doesn't. That comes in handy a lot. So these are really good. Get you a, get you a solid multi-bit screwdriver. And then you need also just a set of screwdrivers. You can go to Harbor Freight and get this. It doesn't really matter what brand it is. They will eventually become beaters anyway. And you know, someday you'll get a really nice set of screwdrivers and you'll love it. But when you're first starting out, just get you a set of like your Phillips and flat. Make sure that it comes with a big flat head like this. One that can, that can pry and be beat on, you know. So good set of screwdrivers is a must plus a multi-screwdriver. Um, then you're gonna need like your other kind of pliers, like a set of needle nose pliers. You need, you need some of them for sure. Everybody knows what needle nose pliers are used for. Uh, just get you, doesn't have to be a fancy pair, you know, something like that. Then another thing that's really important, along that same line is this type of longer needle nose pliers. When you first start doing apartment maintenance, you are going to be unclogging some sinks, some bathroom sinks where you have to stick way down in there and get some of the nastiest gunk you've ever seen in your life. And this is the tool to do it. I've tried many different methods. This is the one that I like the best. It is a double jointed set of needle nose pliers. You can get down in there, grab whatever's down there and pull it up. It just works the best for that. It's good for garbage disposals too. So get you a set of those for sure. Like I would say like these tools right here, when you first start out are going to be in your hands more than almost anything. Moving on. You definitely need a good set of adjustable wrenches. You just need them 
they're pretty self-explanatory. You need a good set of adjustable wrenches. Uh, these little ones are good for working under sinks and stuff like that. You'll probably be learning how to like change faucets and stuff like that pretty fast. So you'll need these channel locks and stuff. You'll be learning how to work on toilets, change fill valves, flappers, stuff like that. And then you, th these tools here, you'll need them for that. Um, and then obviously you're gonna need some basic like carpentry stuff. Like, you know, you need a hammer, get a good hammer. It doesn't have to be an expensive hammer. You can get one at Harbor Freight, whatever. Get one until it's beat up and you can't use it anymore. I would suggest getting a beater set of little chisels, just cheap chisels. You know, you're gonna be working on like door strike plate holes and deadbolt holes, making them close better and stuff like that. Get you uh, get you some little chisels. Get you uh, some different pry bars. Like, I would suggest this little kind of trim kind of pry bar. Maybe get a few of these kind of different in a set. Um, and then a regular flat bar, you know, you're gonna need something like that. And a utility knife. Every maintenance guy needs a good utility knife. Just absolutely, you do. So, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. You've got your, your, your core set up here. Now, what is your core set up? without some little drills. These are the only power tools that I'm going to be suggesting because um, it's just, you know, I could go into buying like an 18 bolt setup and buying skill saw and sawzall and all that stuff. Nah, when you first start out, you're going to be using these little drills and mostly this will impact more than almost anything. Get you a cheap set of these, like these were 99 bucks, I got them a long time ago and they served me great for years. A uh, little drill, little impact, definitely a great thing to start out with. And then, along with that, obviously, get you some drill bits and screwdriver bits, you know, different kinds for wood and metal. You know, just get, get cheap ones. You don't have to break the bank. So, we've got ourselves a good little... We're, there's a lot of capabilities here. Um, another thing that I didn't... I almost didn't put in here, but I said, you know what? You need them. Vice grips. Get you a set of vice grips. Get you a cheap set of vice grips, you know? Like, these ones are husky. I've had them for years. And uh, you'll just find stuff... You'll find reasons to need these. You will need to clamp them onto stripped out screws to get them out of different things, you know. But you'll run into spots where you just need to hold something where it is, clamp it onto something. Like these needle nose ones come in handy. They work good on rusted uh, toilet bolts, you know, things like that. Get you a set of vice grips. They're cheap and they'll save your ass. They'll save you from really losing your mind, especially when you first start, you know, you need stuff to get you out of a jam because you're going to get yourself in some jams. Um, picks, go to Harbor Freight, get you this little orange set of picks. You know, you'll be probably learning how to work on faucets and stuff, getting little O-rings off of stuff, you know, and just a million other uses, kind of like the vice grips, like you'll find uses for these that you didn't need to know existed. And uh, kind of rounding out that kind of stuff like that, you're gonna want some scraper blades like putty knives. They're gonna want you to start fixing some drywall stuff or just patching some little holes, things like that. Um, the, a, a good painter's tool like this is always a good thing to have. So get you a set like that. A lot of this can be bought at Harbor Freight pretty cheap. Um, definitely a caulk gun, you know, get you a caulk gun. They're going to be teaching you how to caulk, you know, they, you just, 
you're gonna be caulking a lot of tubs, sinks, different things like that. Get you a stud finder. The cheapest stud finder you can find is fine. This is the one I've used for years. It works great. Here's something that I almost didn't put in there, but I figured, you know what? You just need to, to mark a straight line. You've got to know when to mark a straight line. If we or when you need to have one, you need to have a tool that can that can make you that can make you a straight line. So get you a speed square. You might not know how to uh, use a skill saw, but you know somebody might ask you to mark a board for them. Whatever. Just have one. They're cheap. Might as well get one. Get you a set of Allen keys. You need them uh, for taking apart all kinds of stuff. It just you'll run into all kinds of things. Taking faucet handles off, putting things together, taking things apart, door hardware, blah blah blah. Everybody needs a good set of Allen keys. You can get them. You can get a cheap set of them too. Eventually, you're gonna need some electrical tools. Well, before I go into those few things, we'll finish out kind of the stuff like this. Um, get a hacksaw. You'll need to cut pipe. You'll need to cut all kinds of stuff. And a hacksaw is just, everybody needs a hacksaw. I don't care what you do, you need one. Get you a little torpedo level. You'll be hanging stuff on the wall. You know, get you a level. You'll be fixing closet shelves and towel racks and uh, all kinds of stupid little stuff like that. Tape measure, need I say more? I would suggest just a Stanley one like this. Stanley makes great tape measures. You don't have to get the Fat Max. Get you a 25 foot regular like Stanley power lock. I love these ones. They're great. Um, so you're going to need a few electrical tools, you know, just a few. Somebody's going to want you to change some switches and outlets eventually or uh, hang some light fixtures. You need some wire strippers. Get you some of these little Klein wire strippers. You know, they're not expensive. Get something like this. You're going to need to strip, strip wire pretty quickly. Get you some dikes. These are not just electrical tools. They're just, you need a good pair of cutters. If you're going to be doing anything in life, you need a good pair of cutters. Uh, you know, I would suggest the Kleins. Kleins are expensive. You know, you don't have to get Kleins when you first start. But if you can, I would because, you know, they'll last you forever. And then you need a good pair of linesman's pliers. These are Klein's. I would go with Klein if, if you can afford it. If you can't, uh, you know, just get the best ones you can afford. But you need these for twisting wire together. And also, they're just heavy-duty pliers for all kinds of stuff. Plug tester. You need a plug tester. Testing outlets. Get one that's got the GFI button so you can test GFI outlets. A multimeter is the other thing that's like, you might not use all the features on it when you first buy it, when you first start, but it'll be good to have because then if you have this, then somebody will be more likely to teach you how to use it. If you have it in your tool bag or in your truck or in your car or whatever, and you say like, hey man, like I wanna learn how to diagnose air conditioners like I have this multimeter and I saw that you were changing out that capacitor. Um, could you teach me how to test that? Like when somebody asks me something like that, I am very inclined to help them out. Like I would love uh, to show somebody something like that. So, you know, you got, just get one. I would, I would recommend this field piece SC260. It's like 120 bucks or something. And it does everything you're gonna need. It's got, you can even do temperature, but it's got continuity, ohms, voltage, amps, it's got the amp clamp, uh, microfarads for testing capacitors, 
Uh, like I said, it's got temperature for doing line temps and stuff. It comes with those little probes. It's just like, it's a very all around versatile meter. It's got a magnet on the back, which is nice. You know, like when you first start using a meter, you don't really know how to like find something to clamp it onto, or you're not good at like holding it and putting the probes and touching, you know, just put that, put that, uh, magnet on there it makes it real easy for you this is a user-friendly kind of beginner meter and uh i liked it a lot for a while that's a that's a good beginner tool to have on you so that's uh that's almost everything the last thing none of these tools are worth hardly a damn bit of good if you can't see so I would suggest getting you like get a work light, make like whatever brand of drills you buy. These little drills you can get 18 volt drills, by the way, if you want. I like tw I think 12 volts better for a maintenance tech because what we do in apartments for the most part, you can get away with small drills. But get one that uses those batteries, like this Bosch set I've got here. Get you a little work light for working under sinks and taken in, you know, attics, whatever, wherever you need to go, wherever you need some light, uh, you're, you're gonna need it. And then I would suggest a flashlight, just something you can inspect stuff with, walk around, walk into an apartment. People love to have like dark ass apartments. I don't know why, but you'll go in. There's something about people who rent apartments. They got sheets over all the windows, all the damn lights are off. They're in there smoking weed, playing video games, and they want you to fix their garbage disposal and all their lights are off and they they don't want you to turn them on it's just you're going to be in dark weird places so you need light so i wish i had a prettier pile <laughs> maybe if i moved my homemade tripod back you could see it a little better so you know basic basic stuff that you need and it's important but this i think i would guess that this stuff here if you got it at reasonable prices for you know you don't have to buy the klein stuff uh but you know you're looking at probably let's see hundred dollars for the drills 120 for the meter so you're looking at 220 right there i would guess you are in the ballpark of probably you know 400 to 500 dollars maybe uh if you add all this up which you don't have to do all at once but, and you could probably get lower than that. Maybe I'm way off. I'm trying to do this in my head, but you get you can get the cheap version of a lot of this stuff. So, you know, 400 bucks, give or take, add a little, subtract a little. This will get you a long way. And uh, if you show up and you have a good attitude and you have a bag, you know, a, the other thing that I obviously don't have here is a tool bag. Um, you know, a tool bag, maybe another little box to put some of this other stuff. You don't want to lug all this stuff around all the time, probably. But, uh, you know, if you show up with this stuff and a good attitude, you will go a long way in the apartment maintenance field. So, uh, anyway, I think that's about all I have to say about it. Um, this is all the tools you need to start off doing apartment maintenance. So thanks for watching.